Life is always more fun when you have the right ID. It's the same with your data. Not having an ID on your record can definitely end your data party way too soon. That's where the record ID comes in. Let's put that into our workflow. You could just add it right after your input, run your workflow, and you'll have your ID ready to use. This ID increases sequentially for each record in your input. Simply put, it's your row number. That said, let's still take a look at what configuration options we have for this tool. You'll see here we can assign the field's name, where it starts, and what data type we want the value to be. Finally, we can position it at the beginning or the end of our data set. And that's it. Pretty quick summary of the record ID. But what if we wanted to assign an ID for every group of records? Well, we'd have to look at our multi-row formula, which we cover in more detail during our two-minute tool video of that tool. Configuring the multi-row formula tool to assign an ID restarting at every group of rows in our data will look something like this. First, we create a new field. Next, we'd write an expression to tell Alteryx to add one to every value above it. Finally, we indicate what group in our data to restart the sequence. After running our workflow, we can see that we have now assigned an ID based on every new segment. And that's it. How to snag an ID for every data party you're throwing in Alteryx. Thanks for watching. You can find out more about this tool's capabilities in the Alteryx tool documentation, which can be found in the description section of this video. Keep up with the latest Data Coach videos by hitting that subscribe button. And if you have an Alteryx tool or macro you want to see included in the two minute tool collection, give us a shout on Twitter at AskTessalation or tweet at me at Nick612Hayland. Until next time, your Data Coach and Alteryx Ace, Nick Hayland.